What's up everyone, welcome back. Today we're playing Ashaya Soul of the Wild in Historic Brawl. Ashaya is a 5 mana mono green commander. Uh, legendary creature elemental. Um, two main clauses here. So Ashaya Soul of the Wild's power and toughness are each equal to the number of lands you control. Pretty straightforward. And the second clause, which is the more key one... Non-token creatures you control are forest lands in addition to their other types. So a Shia turns all of our creatures into lands. Um, this has a couple of benefits. Obviously, the first obvious one is that we can make a ton of mana, right? Um, the second one is it actually gets around effects like destroy all non-land permanents, right? And... Unfortunately, we're in mono green. I, I actually have a um, explorer. Maybe it's a historic build where it's built around a Shia. Then you cast like a um, destroy all non-land permanents. And it actually ends up being a one-sided board wipe because all of our permanents are, well, all of our creatures are lands. Um, but if our opponents ever cast something that says they, it says like, you know, destroy non-land permanent or exile non-land permanent, they actually end up, they can't target our stuff because all of our stuff is lands. So funny little little trick in there. Um, we don't have a way to enact that in mono green, at least you know in uh, on arena with the card selection we have. But it is a layer of protection that people don't always think about. Um, the deck is kind of what you would expect. It's a ton of creatures. It's essentially a mono green good stuff deck. Um, you know key pieces in here. Um, you know, the Garrick's Uprisings and Tribute to the World Trees type enchantments this is our card draw engine, as well as, you know, the One Ring, um, and the Great Henge, right? Stuff like that. Um, beyond that, it's pretty much what you would expect. We have some landfall s synergies because since the Shia turns all our creatures into lands, they actually trigger landfall. So we do have like Scoot Swarm in here. And a couple other, you know, mono green landfall trigger stuff. Um, I'm trying to think of what else is kind of, you know, Nissa, since they're forest lands, uh, Nissa makes them all tap, tap for double green, which is can get really, really uh, nuts. Um, but essentially, we're just going to make a bunch of creatures, you know, give them all trample and smash in. Um, not a lot to dissect here. It's just we're sort of using a Shia as like an accelerator, um, like a super fast accelerator. Not to mention that a Shia, since you know all of our actual lands and a Shia itself is a land, uh, a Shia is, can get huge if you know you count all our creatures. Let's say we have seven lands and seven creatures plus a Shia, so we have. 15 lands a shia is a 15 15 right so on its own a shia can be gigantic so let's uh let's get in there see if we can get some wins with mono green ramp essentially um shia yep if you like this sort of content go ahead and subscribe coming out with a new video every day all different kinds of decks My preferred playstyle is control decks, so it's always a little awkward for me to play a creature style deck. So apologies if I <laughs> misplay a bunch, but I will try my best. Um, they get to go first. Here's another landfall synergy card. Haywire Might's good. Uh, we're essentially using this as removal for if, if they have a one ring or some type of um, indestructible enchantment or artifact you know because it exiles it so it gets around that clause this is a great card this is a great card i think we got to keep i think we got to keep who are we playing kaito so they're going to make an unblockable ninja and draw cards not a lot of um great board wipes in demir so i think we're okay so we'll just play this out we don't have a lot of answers to Planeswalkers except for- Ooh, that's a great draw. Except for just attacking them. So, um, let's just get down all of our creatures. Okay. Um, 
Okay, they're gonna mill me. They mill what? Okay, that's fine. Galta, really far away, but maybe we'll get there. Would you like to block? Hmm. Just take it. Or I guess we're giving it instead of <laughs> not really taking it, but you know what I mean. They're going to attack. Sounds good. And I imagine they Kaito. Yep. Was all. I believe this turn, since they attacked. Kaito phases out, right? Now this is oh, it's just if it enters the battlefield this turn. So no matter what, he phases out. So they chose to draw a card. Okay. Good. We'll get Scythecat down so we can start drawing cards. Or I'm not drawing cards. Getting a big, big trample creature. That's what I meant to say. I don't know why I said drawing cards. Toski will draw his cards. So that's next turn. Best nightmare. Yeah, probably on the side cat. That's what I would have guessed. Okay, this is good against them because they're gonna have a lot of instants and sorceries. Um, they can take the abundance out of our hand. That's okay, these are all creatures, so they can only take the inscription. So I think we just play Toski and attack down Kaido. You almost stopped me that time. Yep, he can only take the inscription. Now they know our hand. Do you have an exile effect? Or a bounce effect? Those are the only two things I can think of in Demir that will work against Toskin. So they're gonna <laughs> loot, no draw this card, uncover. which makes me think they don't have an answer to Toski. Maybe they do. They keep touching it. It's making me nervous. Draw. Cavern Soul is really good against this deck. Um, elemental, right? Let's just double check, but yeah, elemental. Done. So we can play our commander. They're going to exile our graveyard. We don't really care about that. They have one blue mana up. This is the best card. They can just block the toss key. So we'll just pass. Oh, it has to attack. Okay. Well, we'll just attack you then. Oh. Resolve. 
Yep. Now this Interesting. I would have thought they would have attacked the shielded first. To get so they wouldn't have to loot. They foretell something. Could be a counter spell. Could be an extra turn spell. Resolve. They can't counter it. We get a trigger. That's a good card. We don't have a land card to play out, but we do get to get another trigger from our Radagast. Okay. What's the minus seven? That's pretty bad. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, we can play Galta too. Okay. Next. So, one of these is gonna have to bite the dust. Okay. Uh, I definitely still could have. No, I couldn't have. Never mind. Because these are summoning six, so I can't tap them for mana. I was like, I still gotta play Galta. That's okay. We'll have a good turn next turn. Um, easy block. <laughs> Surprised they wanted to get rid of Shieldred. Thanks. Maybe they just I'll didn't think I would block. Okay. Well, they got the extra turn spell so they can minus seven uh, Kaito. Fun just started. What is it? Whenever you. I won't stop until I've uncovered all. Whenever your creature secrets. you control deals combat. Gotcha. Put it on the battlefield. Sure. Okay, well that's the of our whole board. Pretty good for them. I mean, we tried. We tried to get rid of Kaido. It's pretty good. I've actually never seen Kaido ultimated, so this is... Pretty interesting. Um, sure, Sublime Epiphany. I don't really care about that. Okay, well, you can't counter this. You can counter the trigger, if you really want to. I mean, we've pretty much lost this game, but... <sighs> I guess I'll play it out. Maybe they'll misplay. It doesn't seem like they can with that powerful of an emblem, but... Yeah, 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 you're gonna... You're gonna piss me, I know. GG. Probably a way I could have played that better, but again, like I said, I am not normally a creature deck mage. <laughs> mm. 
so you'll have to tell me in the comments how I messed that one up. I still think the Sublime Epiphany was the better card to give him than Time Warp. Time Warp would have been brutal. See who we get next. Omnath Locus of Rage. Okay. I forgot that Omnath was in this or in Arena. That's a really that's a really cool commander. Can get crazy out of hand too. Okay, so we have two tap three tap lands. And they get to four tap lands, and they get to go first. Not great. Uh, the same tap land, I think. Um, it's technically not a tap land. This is really good for us. But we... We have zero creatures. <laughs> so... Uh, I mean, they're going to take a while, because their commander... Commander costs seven. So we have a little bit of time... think we'll keep this is if it goes well this is a good hand but we have to draw we have to draw correctly so I think we turn one this because it's tapped and then turn two Shire and search for green source then turn three this into tribute at least we have a creature now Uh, I mean, that's a good draw. So does that change my plan? I... I guess it does, right? Because we can... Haywire my... And this counts as ramp, so we don't need to... Stress so hard about the extra green source for... Tribute. You can still have haste. Scary. Ooh, Radagast is really good too. I think we just play that out. Ooze. Ooze can get really big. And exile a graveyard. Scythe Cat gets way bigger though in this deck, so we'll just. Feels weird to not choose ooze, but this isn't really a graveyard deck, so I'm not really worried about the graveyard. This is a. If you've never seen this version of Omnath, it's like. Uh, giant five fives that hit you in the face for three damage. Okay. Well, I think our hand worked out pretty well. I'm pleasantly surprised. So, let's get you down. No stick. Next. All attack? Okay. Five mana, Vornplex. Hasty Vornplex. They get two forests. There's still a turn off from playing their commander. And we do have a fight spell. What is it? It's a 5-5? Five five? Okay. Trigger, trigger, trigger. Wow, no card. But we do get to draw. OK. 
Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Just do it like this. Let's keep them under pressure. They have to deal with a 9-9. Gruul does not deal with this kind of power and toughness very well. Yeah, that's a good card. But they can't attack. And we can... We can Ugin it as well. Okay. So how do we do this? This can make a giant tree folk as well. Um, do you think they'll take 9 if we just attack? They might. Yep, they're going to take 9. Only have 12 damage left. So next turn what? They play Omnath. They can't get a landfall trigger because they have to have a land. Okay, whenever land... So these turn into bigger and bigger creatures. So these are going to be 1-2s one, one next turn. Unless we get rid of this. I think we can I think we can do this. I am ancient and wise. Heat my face. This will be hasty, but we have blockers. Fire. Or we could we could we could sack the haywire might to get rid of this. Yeah. I think that's the play. Okay, I did that wrong, but I, I meant to sack it to blow that up. But I think the opponent got the idea. <laughs> so the plan was... Because again, Mono Green has very little removal, and we definitely need to get rid of this. But we we get rid of the Phylath. Next turn, they play a land. or, or, or We get rid of Phylath, which we did. We Haywire might this. Get rid of it, so that uh, Omnath is not, doesn't have haste. These will stay zero ones forever now. Next turn, they probably play Omnath. It won't have haste, and they can't play a land to trigger the landfall trigger. The next turn, we plus uh, Ugin. Get it up to two. Play run in seven, maybe some other stuff. They get one, one trigger of landfall, maybe. <coughs> we get this back up to three, and we destroy Omnath. Because again, they're kind of have to. They're down to low life, so they're gonna have to defend Ashaya attacking them every turn as well. So, in between the pressure of our creatures and Ugin ticking up, uh, we were gonna be able to sort of pin them into a bad spot. My hesitation to play Ugin was, do I wait until they play Omnath and then play Ugin? But um, I think it's better to be aggressive in that spot versus sit around and wait. <laughs> We had the bigger creatures. Why not just go for it? Yorok, so this is doubling ETBs of non-land permanents. This is, is an elemental horror. Does it have death touch? It does have death touch. Why not? Um, we're getting haywire might, haywire might in every single hand. Uh, this is a good hand, except for the fact. Well, this is. This is out of place in opening hand, but we have no green mana. So, and the opponent gets to go first. <coughs> so we're gonna we're gonna mulligan this away. If we had at least one green source. 
we could into the north to get another green source, but we don't have a green source. Green source, okay. Abundant harvest can get us a land. Garrick's up rising. Yeah, this is much better. Okay. I don't know if it's good against Yarak, but at least we have an indestructible creature against their death toucher. Um, we'll do this. We'll do this for land. And that way, Fable Passage will be online untapped. Don't touch my land. <laughs> Confounding Conundrum. Interesting. Whenever land is a battlefield under opponent's control, if that player had another land. So that actually turn that's actually really good against us. It turns off our creatures. Because our creatures come in as land. So we can't play more than one creature a turn. So we have to be wary of that. If we do, we can still do it, but it'll bounce. We have to bounce a land back to our hand. So we just gotta be wary of that. Um We don't have a turn to play, so let's just play the tap land. This might actually be a spell, so let's put this over here. I think we turn three Garrick's Uprising to set up for everything else. And then go from there. Last time I played this deck, it was like a weird Sultai control deck. Like, it had hardly any enter the battlefield stuff. It had like a bunch of counter spells and removal, so... If that's the deck we're playing, that's definitely not... That's not great for us. Um, let's play the Crawling Barons just in case they have... Um, I forget the counter spell, but the one that says I have to pay one or else counter the spell. It's also a land. I can picture the art, but I can't picture the spell. You all know what I'm talking about, though. We're playing around that. Uro. Okay. We do have enchant removal, enchantment removal in the deck, so we could get rid of this at some point. We just have to draw into it. Okay, that's a good card. Let's get the ring source. Um, I think we just Toski here to start drawing cards. I was gonna Garrick's Uprising, but um, this draws us cards too. Oh, s it's already coming into play. Um, so what we do is we tap it, resolve, put this back in our hand. We still get the mana. Okay, cool. I didn't even think about how um, fetch lands trigger this. Gotta be careful. They can play their commander. They can't play Uro, they have no graveyard. Yep. Okay. We don't want to explore because of confounding conundrum. We have Toski as a blocker. Um, let's... Is it power 4 or greater? We don't have anything with power 4 or greater right now, so it seems kind of like a waste to play Garrick's Uprising. They did sort of turn off our card draw. If we play this, does that mean I have to bounce a land back to my hand? I think it does. So, let's not do that. I guess let's just get more power on the battlefield. And pass. Oh, it has to attack, it can't block. I always forget that about Toski. So, they're just going to block. But we have enough power to kill their Yark if they really want to go that route. 
Let's see what kind of ETB shenanigans they do. They're touching my cards. <laughs> this thing really slows us down. We got to figure out a way around that. Gallic greeters. Okay. We're gonna. Wait, what mode are you gonna choose? Oh, another creature has to come in for that to take effect. Solemn. Okay, so they're gonna double ramp. all wall. Make two treasures. That's pretty good for them. Pass. My turn. Killer Gargaros pretty good. Okay, we don't have any lands, so I think we can safely play a Shia. But should we play Garrick's Uprising first? Or Radagast first? Yeah. Probably should do this first. with can't play this as a land because right no no I can let's play it as a land uh tap to spot yep just gonna block again They're getting low on cards. So hopefully they don't have a super busted turn. But this deck definitely can. Yep, there's Kogula. It's gonna fight Radagast and my Florhedron. Interesting. Resolve. Resolve. Um, since they're going to die anyway, let's just do this now. They have five mana. Burglar rat. Okay, well, let's get rid of explore. That's an easy one. Oh, it's double discard. Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, yeah, you can go and you can go. Well, I guess we're just submitting one, but isn't there a second trigger? We're gonna gain two life, resolve, you. Okay. Um. Oh yeah, that's that's not broken. Pass. My turn. Okay. They're out of cards. So. Just get a Shia down. This has to attack. Let's see if they attack or not. Okay. 
Okay. So they'll get triple. No, they'll get quadruple. I could cycle this to get some force in my hand. Um, yeah, why don't we just do it? Uh, I guess it doesn't work because this is summoning sick, so it doesn't do anything. Oh, okay. Well, that works. Uh, easy eight cards. Thank you. Nick those. So we got to be careful. Got to be careful. I think we just play... Is there anything that gets rid of... No, there's not. play this because it won't count as land now they all have trample and now so that'll make me return a land to my hand channel for yeah We just pass three cards. Let's get rid of you. We don't need you or you or really you. Hopefully they draw land or something. If they draw an ETB, that actually helps us. Because now we can just play out our whole hand. Oops, wait, cancel Z. What I meant to do was do this. Submit. Resolve. Now it's a 3-3. Three, three. Resolve. Okay. Yeah, I forgot it lets them draw cards, so that was a good draw for them. Thankfully, they still have nothing in their graveyard. So this now doesn't turn our lands into, or turn our creatures into lands. So we don't have to worry about, we can play out our whole hand if we want. They're gonna pay life to draw a card. <laughs> scary, scary. Okay. Okay. I am terrified of what card they get. Thassa. That's pretty good. Do they have... Yeah, they have the mana to play it, so I don't know why they aren't slamming it. Now they can... Quadruple Burglar Rat me? Is that the plan? That's what I would do if I was them. Or Kogla and get rid of my whole board, right? Is it ETB? Yeah. I don't know why they're slow playing it. <laughs> it's your only play, opponent. I don't know why you're taking so long to think about it. They can do a bunch of nasty stuff here. Oh. Oh, that's a bummer. 
That's a bummer. I was gonna kill their freaking Yarek. Um. Yeah, sure. No blocks. Uh, probably Kogula. That's what I would guess. Because it could wipe my board. Yeah. Pretty good. Also makes our Nykthos really bad. This can come back. This can escape from the graveyard, so I'm not too worried about that. Okay. Well. Yep. Pretty rough. And now they get to do that every turn. Yeah, I mean, let's just pack it up. There's no, It's mono green. There's, there's nothing we can do to combat that. There's just nothing we can do. Green's a really popular color. I can tell based on the views I get on my videos. Like anytime I have a deck with green in it, it gets way more views than other <laughs> other videos, but um, it's not my f favorite, well at least for monocolor decks, it's not my favorite color because of this problem. It's like you either steamroll your opponent or you helplessly watch as the opponent outvalues you in every way possible. Um, oh God. one, two, we have three lands. This is going to be a miserable game. Um... I guess we'll try though. This is a good this is a good enough hand. This is going to really put my uh, abilities to the test. Um this is probably going to be less relevant in this matchup. Okay, probably a counter spell. Um, we didn't draw a land, so let's just get the Pelt Collector down. Power Stone, okay. That's good, we can grow the Pelt Collector. Kind of a good counter to Tasha's um, ability. They might just have a board wipe here, though. They have six mana, so okay. Um, we'll sack you because we get ramp off that. Witness protection. Funny, it's still a three-three. Interesting. Okay. This gains us a bunch of life. This ramps us, right? Yeah. Okay. Pretty treasure as well. So I think we just go wide here. Because it makes it easier to attack down Tasha. 
No attacks. It also makes it easier to block Shieldred. There's no blue mana up. When I win, I love the They're gonna plus. Keep your distance, mortal. Okay. This is great too. It's a fly. It's a flyer. So. I think this is better though. Well, we really don't want them to minus six. So next. They can take their pick. Uh, we could make them all indestructible because this will die. I shouldn't, I shouldn't have had these two attack, but Yeah, that is unfortunate, but let's just do this. Oh, but it doesn't matter because it's negative one. Oh my god, I just wrecked myself. <laughs> I just wrecked myself. That was so stupid. Okay, but at least we keep Tasha off in, act in activation. Look at you. Let's just that ramp here. Hurt. I forgot negative one, negative one gets around and start At least we gained a life. <laughs> Stupid. We should have just played this. That was the right call. Target opponent reveals their hand. You choose a creature or a planeswalker. Yep. That's probably GG. Man, I, I really just dunked myself. They're gonna minus two, take one of our creatures out of our graveyard. Oh, no. They were looking through our graveyard, so I thought that's what they were gonna do. They tap out, which is interesting. Huh. Okay, well. Trying to keep Tasha off of the ability. So they're probably just going to get a board wipe here. That's what I would get. Probably blood on the snow. We could get lucky and they Give it your best didn't shot, put adventurers. the right kind of uh, board wipes in their deck. Why would you need to draw cards? You literally just tutored. Seems weird. Um, well, let's do let's do this before. Uh, They have interaction, so they're just gonna do that. Okay, so that I don't get three lands? I mean... Okay. Resolve. I still have one... Take action. Um. Yep. Gain some life. If I attack with either of these, they die. It's 
not a good spot to be against Tasha. Yeah, I mean... What are you going to do? They're... Yep, they can put a creature card onto the battlefield. They're going to put their own shouldered. Okay. Resolve. Seems like an easy choice. I wonder what they tutored for. Did they, did they really tutor for Poison the Cup? It seems like a weird choice to me. Keep your distance, mortals. Okay. They're gonna mill me, I guess. It's like a Tasha mill deck. So they're gonna be able to activate Tasha. Thankfully they won't be able to get that deep in our deck. Maybe they'll just get like a mana dork or something. Get rid of that thing. does but it's probably all bad for us put all creature cards from all graveyards onto the battlefield seems good this is this is their dream like the opponents when they built this deck they were like oh i hope i play a mono green deck You know, one of the best things about Magic the Gathering is that every deck has a strength and every deck has a weakness. Well, this is Mono Green's weakness. Like, this deck is exactly... Exactly what is meant to dunk on Mono Green. So, I can't even be salty. It's like, just a bad matchup. And I knew that just when, I, when we got into the menu and I saw who we were facing, I was like, oh, this is gonna be a rough match there was definitely a window where I could have maybe overcome it but I, of course I uh, anything cheeky now completely dunked myself um yeah let's just scoop it up I don't really feel like playing this this match any longer <laughs> um yeah I mean dunking myself didn't didn't help but I still think we would have lost in the same way We'll play another game, because I'm not even really counting that one in my head. That was just such a such a bad matchup for Mono Green. Light pause. So this is a Voltron deck. You put a bunch of um, auras on this one creature and make it giant. This hand kind of sucks against that. We were looking for stuff with like fight spells, ideally. One ring's good. I mean, can't turn down a one ring hand. Is it flying? No, but this might help us kill it if it turns into a flyer. Let's put down our tap land. Light pause. Yep.
We'll just pass. We can old growth troll next turn. Interesting, they went right to combat. I would have assumed they would have equipped it or put an aura on it or something. Do you have a mana tithe? No. Okay. Now it's a 3-3. Three, three. Five, 5 Well, it's already out of range of our harpooner. Okay, so what I can't attack, or can't block. It's a coward. I don't know what coward means. I'm assuming that means it can't block. Okay. Things are going really badly for us. We have no land. I guess. Doesn't really help us combat what we're doing. They say good game. I'm sure it is. We'll just let them do it. Because we're good sports. Double strike or something. 10 10. 17 17. Yep, you got it, opponent. <laughs> okay. Let me revise my list. I would much rather play Mono Green with all its faults than Voltron. <laughs> Especially. Oh, let me, oh, I'm sorry. Let me, let me back that up a little bit. Voltron's fine. Mono white Voltron? Ugh, sorry, just... Ugh. <laughs> like, of all the things you could do in Magic the Gathering, that's that's the deck you choose to play? Sorry, just... I know it seems like... Well, you know, you just got your ass kicked by it, but... Just, I mean, I... That deck is so weak, I... Mono green is not a great matchup for it, just like in most matchups. But uh, any deck with any removal, that deck can't do anything. You just, every time they go to uh, target their commander with some type of aura or enchantment or equipment, you kill it. And if you just keep killing it over and over again, they can't do anything. Literally, their whole deck does nothing if you just kill their commander. I have many videos where I've played that deck. It's just not my cup of tea. Um, who are we playing? Sir Rolf. Whenever a permanent and opponent controls is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, put plus one plus one counter on Sir, Sir Rolf. At the beginning of your upkeep, Sir Rolf has one or more plus one plus one counters. I'm going to remove all of them. If you do, exile each not other non-land permanent. Oh, remember in the video when we talked about how all our permanents are lands? Well, this... This is a deck that might not know that. So, the strategy here is just to get to Ashaya as quickly as possible. And I think Tireless Provisioner helps us do that. The rest of the deck is kind of meh. We can use the Blizzard, Blizzard Ball to get rid of Sorolf if they play it with the Harpooner. So I guess we keep... Just gotta draw another land. Actually, we gotta draw a couple more lands. But if we do... That's a good card too, but we still... Same position, we gotta draw more lands. Um, that doesn't do anything. Let's just get this down. I don't think they're going to have a flyer to fight, so I'd rather just have the 3-2 creature. Oh, it's also a reach creature, which is pretty cool. Oh, that would have been nice last turn. I going to play tapped. This is a fight spell, though, so let's just... Attack. End turn.
Okay. That's a good target for this. This technically is ramp. Just really delayed ramp. So I guess we play it. <laughs> and that way, at least if we don't draw land, the tireless provisioner gives us a treasure. Oh, that's rough. But that is a good ramp spell. It's just they're not drawing any lands. But they do come into play untapped. I forgot about that. Yep. Probably the right play. Okay, well. I think we just play you and hope we draw lands. And we'll just keep the beatdown going. If we draw a land, we'll have enough mana to play a Shia. And then we can do all the things. Okay. Yes. Now all of our creatures. Our non-land permanents. Or our land permanents, I should say. Treasure. Oh, and all of our creatures. Ooh. Uh, we can't target it with Blizzard Ball, so yeah, we'll just do this. Yeah, you put all those counters on there. The only thing that could really wreck us is if they... If they remove this. Okay. That definitely sucks. Wow. That absolutely wrecked us. <laughs> well, I didn't see the massacre girl coming. Um So Yeah, I think we just do this and activate Yep, yeah, not sure what we do here. <laughs> we just got totally dunked on. Massacre Girl. I haven't seen Massacre Girl in like two years, but that, that did it. Uh, we can use it as a blocker. So we could do this. And this. But I'm pretty sure this destroys anything they want. So, yeah, I mean... Tch. Hopefully they target my one ring. That would be really funny. Because it is a destroy effect, right? Um... Yeah, I guess we're gonna...
too. Yep. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm... I'm pretty much done playing this deck. <laughs> uh... I just... I feel like we got really bad luck with our... Last opponent. Let's play one more. I'm super salty, but let's play one more. I'll try to be... Try to be... Level-headed. <laughs> they just had the perfect card... That got them out of that situation. They literally could do... Like, their, their commander's whole ability was turned off by our, our deck. And they just drew the perfect card. It's just... One-sided board wiped us. is absolutely nuts. Quintorius. Okay. This may be a good matchup for us, because... I don't know. If it's a control deck, then we're, you know, at a disadvantage. But if it's a... Uh, like a just a Boros mid range deck. We could could get in there. We get to go first, so that's cool. All tap lands. Love that. Um Let's all get this garbage away. Gargara, I mean these are good cards. I'll just keep and hope we draw stuff to do in the early turns. We're kind of in a race to five mana and we're ahead. Another five mana card. Awesome. The deck knows exactly what I need. Okay, now they're ahead. Couldn't have drawn worse. I had something. I would have preferred uh, a land, but. Now they can start making three two. Or they can discover four. Okay, staff, sure. Not the worst. Interesting. Are they going to lightning bolt my creature? Okay. Sure. Do a land. At least it's one that can attack, so if they don't put a creature down next turn... Like, well, I guess they're going to... Plus, so they'll have a 3-2, so we can't really attack with Faceless Haven. Uh-huh. Well, our uh, opponent not only won the race to 5 mana, but they won the race to 8 mana. Cool. Um, so... This is makes a 5-5... Five, five. I think we do this one. So we can start making three threes. They are digging deep. Wow, are they gonna pay another four life? Damn, they just paid 12 life over the last two turns to draw three cards. I don't know what's in their hand. Uh, this screams board wipe. 
but I'm gonna make a 3-3 and hope for the best. Yep. That's okay. Lands deck. Draw me some freaking lands. Hopefully that was their best board wipe. Let's see if they dig again. Proliferate. Okay. I forgot that that card did that. Untap it. Proliferate again. Okay. Okay, this one is the one that makes... This is the annoying board for the adopters. What is it like... Play a land from exile or cast a spell from exile. They're gonna do four damage and then what, another two? Nice. Sure. Six mana. Um, if I play this, it just gets attacked down. Play this. It's at least a blocker. Um, I could I could attack with Faceless Haven. They're not gonna like that. And then they attack me for a lot next turn. Uh, that might be my only way back in this though. They're gonna have removal here though, most likely. There's stick. So Contorius dies, which they may be fine with. Because then they can recast the next turn and do another discover trigger. Absence on my creature. Yep. Take a doctor. Gee golly, where's your deck is so synergistic? <laughs> yep, I mean, that's what we can do. My god, I mean, I, I can't, like this deck is better than these games are showing it to be, but um, I just can't believe like how bad we've drawn and how bad our matchups have been. The Quintorius one was actually like a pretty even playing field, but I mean, I, I kept a risky hand. I'm not gonna be sort of skirt responsibility for that, but literally just gave us like, what was that? Like four, five plus mana spells in a row. Like, I mean, I know that's like, that's the meme, but that's also really unlikely. <laughs> and raise in our opener. They just love putting like, why? The deck is 99% four and less drops, but the seven mana or the eight mana spell ends up in my opener. Come on, Arena, fix your shuffler. 
Um, Heliod, so they're going to make... They're going to gain life to, like, pump all their creatures and all that garbage. Um, the one ring... The one ring gets us out of it, but I just, like... I, this, this hand pretty much sucks except for the one ring, so I feel like I have to mulligan. This is a lot better. But we have... Well, we guess we this is a green source. And this, if we get another green, is a green source. Ugh, I just... I don't know what it is. Uh, the arena wants us to lose tonight. <laughs> They are like, you know what? Mono green sucks. And we're going to make sure everyone knows it sucks. I will say that Ashire is probably not the strongest mono green commander. Because there's no card advantage baked into it. It's just a ramp. But it's definitely not this bad. You know, it is not... Uh, Nice, we drew the second green source, that's awesome. Let's get the dart frog down. This percentile's not gonna be triggering a lot this game. Um Yep. Stomper. We do also have a way to exile this with um Oh, it does tap for a mana. We don't really care about us per Sentinel, though, do we? So let's not waste Blizzard Brawl on it. There'll be other targets for this. I'm just so used to needing to get rid of this card, because... It really hoses control decks or mid-range decks, but... This deck is really not going to care at all about us per Sentinel. Alright, I mean, uh, if we do it like this, then we have one, two, three, four, five, six lands. So Stomper's still offline. If we do it like this, we get two lands in our hand. I think this is the better play. This card is sneaky good. I'm gonna have to try this in Popper. The fact that it can... It's a mana dork that has reach, first of all. And then it can also get death touch. I mean, this is such a good card. They're gonna gain two life. Okay. We're going to equip the Shadow Spear. Alright. Well, now we should probably kill the Esper Sentinel, right? Oh, we have to pay four. Or else they draw a card. We'll decline. They can draw their card. Resolve. Um. Hmm. Do we get in the damage or do we put more creatures down? I think we get in the damage. 
Just in case they have like a board white or something. And they are mono white. Then we can keep up this trans in or inscription, not transcription, inscription to fight whatever creature they have come down. Because Heliod doesn't do anything unless they have creatures to put the plus one plus one counters on. Maybe that's what's missing from this deck. I mean, Mono Green doesn't have a ton of options, but maybe we need more fight spells. And that's really the the answer for removal that's kind of missing from this deck. Because I, I feel like the fight spells have actually been one of the bright spots of the deck. Okay. Resolve. Resolve. Play the Overseer. They're tapped out. Um. Yeah, GG. Well, there you go. <laughs> I told you the deck was fine. No, I mean you're 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 gonna get like a fifty percent win rate with this deck, but you're not gonna get hosed like the video made it seem like you were gonna get hosed. Anyway, let's do a, a deck tech. Um, do 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 do, do Shia. So. If you watch this far through the video, I mean, first of all, thanks. I appreciate it. But you definitely got an idea for what the weaknesses of this deck are. So, um, you know, the strengths are tons of mana. So, I don't know if there's a better way to take advantage of that in Mono Green. Um, I assume just playing a little bit more mana, you know, high mana value spells would be the pay off for this but maybe there's a better way you know and like we talked about in the last match I think the the fight spells are like a shining spot in this deck so maybe it just needs more of them you know every uh, yeah I, you know as you saw shy I can get huge but it self doesn't have trample or any way to fight anything other than just attacking so if you, you know, play a Shia and it's a 6-6 six, six or a 7-7, seven, seven, then you Blizzard Brawl their best creature. That can oftentimes be enough to swing the the game in your favor. So, Inscription, I'm not sure where it's at. Somewhere in here. Inscription. This is a great one because it's, it's got a bunch of different modes. So, maybe you don't need the fight spell in whatever situation you draw this in. Maybe you'd rather have the counters or the life gain. Um, or all modes if you can afford it, which you definitely can in this deck. Um, so yeah, maybe maybe we need to take out some of these cards and put in more fight spells. I think after playing this deck, I think I definitely would take out the uh, play two additional lands stuff. Like I would take out Azusa, I would take out uh, or Corsair, and uh, I can't remember if there's another one in here. That allows you to play extra lands. I fell into the trap of like thinking about this as like not a landfall deck, but a deck that like supports landfall. And so I started putting it in like good landfall support cards like Azusa. But this deck, it gets its landfall triggers from creatures. So you could easily cut Azusa and Corsair and put in some fight spells. And you're still going to get plenty of quote unquote landfall because of Ashaya's ability. Um... So that's where I would start. I can't see any other the ones that I off the, right off the bat I think I would cut. Um, maybe Shigeki too. I love Shigeki. It's it's one of my favorite cards. I own like five foil copies of this in, in paper. But in this deck it doesn't really make sense. 
I mean, you are going to make a ton of mana, and, and the ability to bring back a ton of stuff from the graveyard could be really crucial, but I think it's just too narrow. It's just not going to come up enough in this kind of deck. Like, if you're at the point in the game where you can spend, you know, 12 mana on its channel ability to get five things back from the graveyard, you're probably already being outvalued by whatever deck you're playing in Historic Brawl, because the deck's the decks go crazy, like, you know, that Yara game that we played against, like, you know, yes, we on turn, you know, f six or whatever can make enough mana to get, you know, have 12 mana, but on turn six, they're like, their board's insane, it's just way more versatile and way more insane, so I just don't think, it was too idealistic to put Shigeki in this deck, um, this is, not the right deck for Shigeki, so that's another card you could probably cut. Poison Dart Frog was a shining little spot. Uh, this is a really, really good card. Sneaky good card. And yeah, I think everything else can kind of be debated. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments what you thought, what you would change. There's definitely some room for improvement here. I think we can both agree, or we can all agree on that. Um... But yeah, not sure why the first part of the video it went really rough for us. I mean, I definitely made some bad decisions in some of those games, but some of them were just like, uh, like the uh, Saralf game. I mean, we just got hosed because they had the exact right card in the exact right moment. Um, we were we were rolling in that game and they just like ripped Massacre Girl and wiped our one-sided board, wiped our whole board. I mean, you know, there was nothing we could do to like know that was going to come, you know, that was going to happen or prepare for that in any way, shape or form. So, um, you know, if I had played that Strolf deck 10 times, I think I would have won most of them. It's just, that was the one, you know, the, the two out of 10, that was one of the two out of 10 I would have lost. So, is what it is. Can't win them all. I hope uh, that last game gave a better example, though. And the game against Omnath gave a better example of how this deck can work. And maybe uh, the other games gave examples of what can be improved. So thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Subscribe. Like the video. Drop a comment. Let me know if there's any commanders you want me to play. I'm definitely open to the idea. Thanks for thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. I right, later.